Uh, my name is Mark Kelly. Uh, I am one of the co-hosts of the Fifth Estate on CBC Television, uh, but I, I've also had the honor and pleasure of being uh, the MC here for several years for the Trillium Awards. And, uh, and I say an honor and a pleasure because my stock and trade is disaster. I travel the world, uh, you know, looking at natural disasters and man-made disasters and dealing with victims and the suffering and the poor uh, and dealing often with the worst of the worst. And I've been doing that for more than 20 years. So you can imagine the joy I, I have to have a night like tonight where I can come and celebrate the best of the best. And after uh, enjoying the readings that we had here last night, I can guarantee you that this is truly the best of the best that Ontario has to offer. Uh, so it is a fantastic night and a pleasure for me. Je m'appelle Mark Kelly, je suis uh, journaliste avec le réseau anglais de Radio-Canada, et c'est un plaisir d'être ici. Maybe you're asking, why am I here tonight? Et pour mes, uh, mes collègues francophones, je suis ici, I am here handing out the Ontario Book Awards because I'm a Quebecer. Et comme un bon Québécois, je suis bilingue. So because of that, I am here. Now, last year, as many of you know, was the 25th anniversary of the Trillium Book Award, and a retrospective video was made to capture some of that marvelous literary history and spirit of the award and the authors who have won it. We're going to play it now. It's about five minutes long. As you're tucking into your dessert, you can sit and watch this. Then we will begin with the announcements and presentations of this year's winners. Comme vous êtes uh, nombreux à le savoir, l'année dernière, nous avons fêté le 25e anniversaire du prix littéraire Trillium et une vidéo rétrospective a été réalisée pour restituer en partie cette merveilleuse histoire littéraire et saisir l'esprit de ce prix et de ses lauréats. Nous allons la diffuser de nouveau, elle dure environ cinq minutes, puis nous procéderons aux annonces et aux présentations des lauréats de cette année. So, without further ado... Please roll it. like the recognition through a Trillium Award or even the nomination that comes with the Trillium Award, it does make you feel like your work is being taken seriously. Getting the award was like getting a handshake, so that was a very important handshake for me. It made me feel alive. Sa parole écrite à l'encre blanche la désabrite. Or, cette grande rapailleuse à découvert partout me reçoit. Ici, au cœur, être là. While I was thinking of the novel, I realized that there's a new kind of immigrant, um, somebody younger. I guess more aware of his or her new country, somebody more willing to participate and try to determine where he or she might fit into this country. And this is why I chose a young person, um, a young person who, um, who is exactly the opposite of his father. J'ai eu le bonheur vraiment de faire le tout Trillium, moi. C'est-à-dire que euh, j'ai d'abord été membre du jury Trillium, puis ensuite j'ai été finaliste et puis finalement lauréat. Alors à chaque fois que c'était une bonne expérience, euh, et donc c'est euh, vraiment le tout Trillium, c'est extraordinaire. Following something that you knew to be true, some little thing, uh, as opposed to what was supposed to be true or other people told you, was true or that you thought should be true or that you wanted to believe was true because it would make you popular. Instead, you followed this weird thing and you get nominated. And that's fantastic. La première édition du Prix Trillium, 
le verdict s'est arrêté 3 à 2, 3, pour, 3 voix pour Michael Ondach et 2 pour moi. Et je suis très mauvais perdant. Et là, j'avais dit, c'est qui ça, Michael Ondach? Est-ce qu'il est bon? Euh, bon? Et là, je l'ai lu et là, j'ai compris qu'il était très bon. Mais c'est ça qui a fait que je me suis mis à lire Michael Ondach et plus tard tous les autres, Atwood, euh, euh, Timothy Finlay et tous les autres. Et ça m'a mis en contact avec la littérature canadienne-anglaise. Et ça a fait de moi, je pense, un meilleur écrivain. There's something extremely gratifying about having a book that's successful uh, because you, you have a lot of readers and people who tell you that they get pleasure from reading your work and that is, that's, a, that's a very wonderful feeling and so you feel a little more confident from then on uh, about what you're doing and what you've dedicated your life to. Je dirais que ces deux euh, écrivains canadiens sont, si vous voulez, pour moi, euh la preuve qu'on peut y arriver, qu'on peut arriver à, à être écrivain canadien. And the lantern seemed to waver and almost to dance wildly and one described an arc in what was now the darkness and then was still. Grandpa watched for almost a minute to be sure of what he was seeing and then he showed it to my grandmother. There is something wrong out on the ice. There is only one light and it is not moving. Thanks to the ONDC, and congratulations to the Ministry of Culture for 25 years of support to the writers and publishers of Ontario. I was thinking today that if it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a culture with interest to raise poets and artists. Winning the Trillium Book Award for Poetry was a stunning and unexpected experience for me. Every writer I know is at some level deeply uncertain about their work. They wonder, does it or can it mean anything to anyone else? And the award for me said, yes, your work does mean something. And for that, I continue to be deeply grateful. Le ciel est bas, gris. Cette pluie fine, pénétrante. Comme là-bas. Il pleuvait toujours là-bas. On était trempé tout le temps là-bas. Awards always bring readers to books, books to readers, and that's always a fantastic thing. But the special thing about the Trillium, of course, is that it celebrates literature from here, from this place where we live. Je suis franco-ontarienne, seulement en Ontario. Traître si je change de province. Espionne si je saute de l'une à l'autre. Assassin perfide si j'ose transmuter ma culture, qui ne peut point, me dit-on, survivre dans un autre environnement. I guess for a writer it's a good symbol because we sort of feel like little trilliums embattled in the wilderness and feel there ought to be a law to protect us from being destroyed. I, I'm going to adopt it as my own personal symbol, I think. The cries of a dragon, said Popo. Father said, just the train coming to a stop, Kim Kim. But the old one's voice was so certain that I held my breath. Thank you.